Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial for OpenTTD about priority signaling. Priority signaling is something you use to give your trains on the main line priority over those on the sideline. Usually this is what you want because you have way more trains on the main line so you don't want them to wait and usually the train on the sideline is not yet at full speed. So I will illustrate the issue at hand by making these trains leave at the same time. And as you can see, the train on the sideline arrives just before the train on the main line. So yeah, the trains on the main line will have to wait. And that's bad. So how do you solve this? Well, one way to solve it, which is not a very good way, is by simply removing this signal here at the junction. This way the train at the main line will arrive at this signal before the train on the sideline arrives at this one over here, closer to the junction. Obviously now the train on the main line makes a reservation on the junction first and makes the other train wait. This train, however, still has to wait for the train on the sideline and it's not doing so close to the junction but quite far away which means it's wasting time. So, this is not an optimal situation and the solution is priority signaling. So, how does this work? Well, to use priority signaling you need an entry signal on the sideline and you need an exit signal in both directions on the main line, like this. So what you will see now is that the moment that one train passes this signal here and it enters uh, this segment, you will see that this light, which is the exit signal turned away from the train, will turn red. And this entry signal here has been programmed to look for exit signals in its own segment. Now, this segment here contains a regular signal, and it will disregard that one and this one exit signal which is red because there's a train coming so there you see that the light is now red for the train on the sideline and the train on the main line has priority however this train didn't arrive in time for this segment yet so it still has to wait now of course there's a solution for that as well there are actually two solutions the first solution is to remove the signal over here because uh, by doing that you make a longer segment on uh, this side which means that as long as the train is in this segment over here it will be blocking the traffic light now if it leaves this segment uh, after another train already arrived and passed this uh, signal over here then the train will have to wait the train on the sideline will have to wait I will show you that as well. So here you can see the train is still on the segment and this one is about to enter the next one, uh, the first one, and there you go. They both had priority. So that's all uh, great, um, but it does mean that you're making this segment longer than uh, maybe is necessary. So you can do that, uh, solve that issue by uh, going for uh, the other solution. And actually you will see that this solution is, uh, you, is possible to use on each side of this junction. So I'm putting this signal back. So what you can do is make this segment longer for this uh, signal, but not by removing this signal here, but by making a bypass track. Now it doesn't look very beautiful, so I prefer not to use it, but you know when uh, uh, your main line is really busy, sometimes you just need to do it. So um, I will make the trains leave again. You will see that there is one thing uh, still missing in this design. Ah, I'm way a tiny bit too early. Yeah. Now it passed uh, this signal here, and this signal is checking for trains, checking for trains on the bypass track, checking for trains and it sees this train. So now the light is red even uh, sooner. Um, however this light is red as well because it's looking for trains on this segment 
and now that there's a bypass track it sees the train that is arriving so the train is blocking itself at the moment obviously not a good idea so you need to make this uh, signal now a, um, a path signal one way or two way path signal and this one as well because otherwise this train is going to wait for the other train to completely leave this uh, area so I will make the trains leave a second time and you can see that this works fine there they go so now the first train enters this segment this light turns red and oh it's still mm, yeah no it arrived just in time as you can see it is just passing this signal over here and this one arrived just in time to keep the signal red so there you go that's priority signaling with an extra uh, bypass track to increase the amount of priority you want to give to your trains now you could do a similar thing on this side and make the bypass track over here for example um, like 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 so you know and then you also add your priority signals as needed and this way you uh, uh, block the signal for a longer time over here actually I see I'm doing that wrong you would have to do it over here to make this segment longer so for example like so but as you can see now you have this train situation where a train could potentially go sideways onto the other track so yeah you could solve that by doing something like this now you have the same you you basically built the same uh, behind the tr track and in front of the, the the junction but i'll let you figure that out yourself so um, one other thing is that the bypass track you could make it uh, uh, use it several times like so um, I usually don't do this for two reasons uh, the least important one is that uh, the longer you make this the more often trains on the sideline have to wait uh, even though there's more than enough uh, time for them to pass already uh, so uh, that doesn't make too much sense and the other reason is that this well it looks ugly <laughs> so in that case if you really need uh, that uh, uh, amount of priority because your trains on the main line are so busy I would suggest uh, building a second uh, track also because you're already using a lot of the space anyway for those bypass tracks so there you go there you have it um, if there are any more questions or remarks uh, please let me know in the comments below and um, I want to thank you for your time. Goodbye.